Welcome back to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold, and I'm joined by Carl Goldman, um, Man of the Year. I think it was last year for well, the I'm Santa Cruz Valley. Like two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago. Okay, um, but uh, entrepreneur um, with uh, KHTS and a community leader. Uh, I get a lot of inspiration from you, Carl, because you do so much in the community. And now you're taking on a new endeavor, and I think this is one of the biggest endeavors so far, which is working with Habitat for Humanity on the Santa Cruz Valley Homes for Heroes. Tell us about Homes for Heroes. Thanks, Fred. Yeah, the, we needed another project, but uh, the, the gas company actually approached us uh, because they're so involved with Habitat and, and looked at taking the Habitat model and converting it to vet, for veterans. So we created Homes for Heroes, launched it just a few months ago. It's under the Habitat umbrella, so it's part of Habitat for Humanity, and actually the National Habitat's taking a hard look at this, and if it works, which we know it will, it could become a model for other communities. Concept is Homes for Heroes. We're gonna build homes for vets. We've created three different phases with this, Fred. So let me ask you that, here. because traditionally, it was building homes for people to live in, um, uh, usually people that economically challenged, um, people that were homeless, people, different things, but it's for vets. But now you've appro approached it in three different phases, which is a little bit different than the traditional model they had. Right, and also th the beauty of the Habitat model is it's not just a handout. It's giving somebody something that they purchase, but then, then th those people also have to go and do community service. There's all kinds of education that goes with it, financial literacy that I know, Fred, you're a big fan of, mm -hmm. so that, that the, uh, the results of Habitat in the San Fernando Valley are incredible. No well, foreclosures. Right. Right. On, on uh, now dozens and dozens of homes, hundreds of people. Well, Jack Shine's really uh, driven that, hasn't he? Yes, Jack's it, been one of the, the main forces behind that. In the community, in the community that Jack's built out there, 99% of all kids, all kids graduate from from high school. And that's LA Unified. Yeah. So and that's, imagine what's going to happen in Santa Clarita yeah. with our great school system. Dynamite, dynamite. So, so let's go on to three different things you're tackling. Right. Three phases. Phase one is we're going to refurbish vets' homes. Homes that uh, particularly injured vets. Uh, we have our first home will be the Saturday before Veterans Day, which will become an annual event community-wide. We're taking a, a home of a vet who was injured after 9-11 in, in one of the more recent conflicts that we've had. We're going to go in and totally refurbish it, just like Habitat does with their Brush for Kindness program. And that's going to be ongoing. So totally if, ongoing. If, if you apply and maybe don't get that opportunity, or you watch this after um, Veterans Day, and you want to submit for to go to SCV Homes for Heroes, we're going to make this continuous. Absolutely. In fact, our goal is to, over the next 12 months, is to do 10 homes and then just let it grow from there. Phase so two. Phase one. Phase two is a, an interesting window right now because we have, a, <laughs> as you know, a tough housing market. There are plenty of foreclosures out there. So our thinking is, while this window still exists, if we can pull this one off, mm -hmm. while the window exists, we'll go in and purchase through the bank homes that have been foreclosed within a certain neighborhood. If hopefully you know, discounted. Not just hopefully so if, discounted. If, if you're yeah. watching this, right. yes, and you're in the banking industry and you have a foreclosure and you can help right. us out, that's great. Right, because we're looking at this to be a nucleus to turn around a neighborhood. So we're going to go in, take three or four homes that are in foreclosure within a two, three mile radius of each other, buy those homes at a discount, go in and refurbish them also under the Habitat umbrella, and then flip them over to VETS. Once the vets, and not necessarily an injured vet, any vet that, that qualifies. So mm -hmm. we'll turn those homes over and then use those homes as the nucleus to turn the entire neighborhood around. Yeah. Not necessarily for, for just veterans in that neighborhood, but turn it around for the entire neighborhood from all walks of life. Love it. And then phase three. Phase three is the most exciting. It's taking what Habitat does so well already, and that's to build an entire community. We're looking at maybe 20 to 30 homes that would be in one particular area where they're all connected with each other, right next to each other, in one under one plot of land, and do a similar project to what, if you have a chance to go down to Pacoima, Fred, and see that project, this would be for up here, for veterans, that's the difference. So the homes here would be for veterans under the same habitat umbrella with the expectation that those vets are gonna give something back in exchange for us, the habitat, helping them 
get this this home and get this community. And, and that's the one we really want as the model for what Habitat can then do throughout the country. As you know, Fred, right now, the our veterans are in the news, particularly homelessness for vets and just not, right, if you look at 60 Minutes did a program that on that. That was amazing. All the homeless vets, they right. come back and, yeah, that... Excellent stuff, Carl, and, and I applaud you and Jerry and the gas company and, and all those that are volunteering to be a, prod, a part of it. Um, information, SCV Homes for Heroes? Yeah, I'll actually visit HabitatSCV.org. That's HabitatSCV.org. On there you can see we've really assembled the leadership of Santa Clarita. So all those that are attached to vet groups, we have our political leaders part of this, people tied in with the housing industry. Independent business? Independent business. We really have gotten a cross-section of the community to roll up their sleeves and, and, and really dig in. Well, if you'd like to be a part of this, uh, go to the website or call, uh, call Gar Carl Goldman at 661-298-1220 uh, for KHTS. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you can also go to KHTS, hometownstation.com. There'll be a link there right. for the website. Uh, our and website, AmericanFamilyAFFLoans.com, will have it. And HabitatSCV.org is the website. Perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, Good stuff by uh, Carl Goldman and the uh, SCV Homes for Heroes. We're going to jump to a quick break, but when we come back, I got Chris Mendenhall, and he's going to talk about a mortgage professional is going to talk about a new tool that you can use to help pay your house off in half the time you expect to pay it off.